Okay, um, this one, part four, is going to be how to make meetings. Uh, there are sort of two ways you can do this. If you want to have a social event, for example, um, then you can go to your uh, Outlook browser, and within your Outlook calendar, you can create a new event. And within that event, you're just giving a title, type in your, your all those you want to invite. You can do individuals or you can, in fact, do groups uh, using distribution lists. So, for example, pass das. Okay. Um, distribution lists are only for email, and so you're only able to invite the entire groups of people that may not be within a team if you're doing it through the calendar. Um, the key here is when you are making the, the meeting, um, you're going to add it as an online meeting and choose Teams meeting, okay? Once you choose Teams meeting, it will generate a link to join that Teams meeting at the appropriate time. And then any, any receivers of the email can um, click on that link uh, when it pops up in their calendar and they'll automatically be taken into Teams. Now, the chat will be saved within that, but uh, it is not a team meeting, it is a meeting hosted within Teams. So it's not for a specific team or a specific channel. It is just uh, a way for everyone to interact within Teams. And so it might be useful for things like a department forum, a faculty forum, anything with the membership of the or the attendance of the meeting doesn't really matter. So that's one way of doing it. Um, the other way of doing it is to use the new meeting in Teams itself. So I'm in my calendar using the side navigation and gone to my calendar. So it's my Outlook calendar for the week. And I'm going to create a new meeting. And you would give it again. And this is much the same boxes to, to select as within Outlook. The difference here, the key difference is uh, you can invite specific people and tell them whether they are necessary or optional, just like a, an Outlook one. What you can do here though, is type in channels and teams so that you can invite specific people. So you don't need to worry about remembering every member of a particular channel in a particular team because you only want to meet with them. You can create it within um, a particular group. So here we've got say BMS and Souls, we've got general. Um, so that would be inviting everyone in that, in that group um, just by choosing particular channels, okay? Uh, then you might type a normal description and that's, that's all you need to do. So if you want to have a general meeting or an appointment, use Outlook and invite people individually or use distribution list group names. If you are looking to have a team where you may need to interact with files that will need saving for a later date, that you, that you only want specific members to come and that you want to remain as part of a workflow, as part of a continuous process rather than a one-time thing, then you want to use the calendar side navigation uh, which will be key to your uh, credentials, your identity, and give it some specificity as to who exactly you're going to invite along from which channels. So there we go, within that one, I've got multiple channels that I can choose from, so I can invite just the people that are in that channel, okay? So that was a very uh, quick way of showing you um, how to go about making meetings. The other useful thing, just to draw your attention to very briefly, is the scheduling assistant. So if, you've, if you add in attendees, just like any other meeting, you're trying to find the best time, instead of emailing back and forth or um, putting um, calendar suggested times in the chat and having a continuous thread about, oh, I'm available on Friday, when are you available? Well, I can do Tuesday. Um, you can do it this way, look for individuals availability there. It saves a lot of time and a lot of back and forth in just finding a time that's uh, suitable for most people. So I hope you found that uh, useful. There'll be more uh, short videos to come and uh, please do contact with any questions. All right, thank you.